Ken Sears here, and it's time for a Sunday morning shave. I've been uh, hitting my coffee, so I'm quite caffeinated as we speak. And today it's a tag video shave. And I guess I was tagged by three people. Uh, Jim Bear, Kevy, and Spider Shaves for TSC. So I've got uh, tagged by three that at least I know of. And uh, this tag video is going to be three soaps in one bowl. So actually, my wife got involved with this one. Uh, my wife, Diane, she said, three soaps, let me pick them. So she went through about, uh, about eight or nine soaps. And she said, here's the combo she'd like to see in the bowl. So it's Sterling Black Cherry, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Lime Ice and Sage, Melonade. So we're going to be putting them into the Captain's Choice small bowl today and mixing them up. And I've got a bunch of shaves online and uh, I keep getting wanting to get to them. So I want to do a couple of shout outs. I, I got some mail calls. I want to thank uh, uh, Jim Hit from Hitman Shaving. He gave me a cool brush. Check this out. And it just goes real well with the uh, crystal skull there. I'll be using, by the way, the, the Shavenator brush from Rich Man Shaves uh, today. Rich Man Shaving. Shaving with Rich today, but uh, I want to thank Jim. He sent me that, and he sent me a couple of uh, soaps that my wife and daughter have already liberated because they say they smell so good. These are regular soaps, bath soaps. So uh, they got liberated, Jim. You know, I... I might get a chance to try them, but uh, they're, they're already all over them. And I've got something coming up from Pacific Shaving Company. Uh, some of you had asked, would I do... And these are sold out. These are shaving cream minis. You drop this, this mini into a bowl and uh, instant lather in the palm of your hand. Easy to use, water-soluble pods, great for travel, but they're sold out. So they actually sent me one of these. They're sold out, but I'm planning on doing a shave with one of these coming up. So those are on deck. All right. Today, a lot of you had asked, will I use, or how come I haven't used a slant razor in a while? So this is the Mercure 37C. The 39C actually has a longer handle. And I know you guys have, have some of those. And these slant razors are really, they cut really close. I don't wanna say they're aggressive, but they cut close. Now I've never used a Gillette seven o'clock yellow in there. And that's another one of the requests that I've been having. So let us get this razor in there. All right. If I can get that open. Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge. I don't know how the combo is gonna do. And again, these combos, somebody was saying they work really good for you. And you know, it's a unique, wet shaving is a unique Per user, everybody's different. Let's say that. Everybody's different. So what, what might work for you might not work for me. We're going to try it out in here. And this is already an aggressive razor. So we'll see how that blade does. So let me move the skull shaving brush over there. I made it through here without dropping anything. And uh, as I said, I'm going to be using... Rich Man Shaving, the Innervator Brush in the Shave. This has got, uh, oh man, it's got synthetic and regular hair in there. It's really a good brush. And I've used this twice in the videos. And I actually contacted Rich and I said, hey, can I tag you in a video? And he said, sure, you can use my brush. And I said, yeah, actually I am. So uh, I, I was planning on <laughs> using that brush anyway. So I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag Shaving with Rich, SoCal Shaves, and another cut above. And actually, I've reached out to those three guys, and they've been really good about it. And they said, uh, we're making soup, you know, with all these uh, soaps. But uh, actually, mine's not like soup. It's like this gum. Remember this gum? That's what this uh, shave looks like to me. All right. There's my British... 50 pence piece with the nice edges. Oh, and I've also got some James Bond shaves online. I've been waiting. Let me get some of the soap out of here first. I've been waiting for some props. You know, because sometimes you'll see I'll, I'll show the uh, what I'm using with in a photograph prior to the shave or on Instagram I'll use a photograph. 
And I was going to do a couple of shaves, probably a Thunderball and a Dr. No, where I'm using a, a razor from those two movies era. Like 1963 was Dr. No, and 1967 was Thunderball. But uh, I wanted some props, and uh, I wanted British notes, one pound notes, or 10 pound notes. And England's been going through a lot of uh, currency changes lately with their notes. They've been discontinuing summing some and having like new counterfeit proof ones. So I actually, and they don't have one pound notes in England anymore. So I had to go on eBay and I bought several, I'm putting the melonade in there now, putting several, uh, I had a bid on several notes, several notes, 10 pound note, regular notes. I was looking for a five pound note, uh, 1960s, the white notes. Uh, they discontinued those, and they're kind of hard to find, too, but uh, I was looking for one of those as a prop and maybe to display in here, because uh, when I came from England, we were still using shillings, and uh, it was before the decimal system kicked in at England currency. I think it was 1971. You guys over there can probably tell me. I use black cherry now. But I, I, in those days, I think there was 240 pence to a pound, and you had shillings, which were 12 pence, and you had 20 pen or 20 shillings in a pound, so 240. Anyway, got confusing. I was a little kid, I didn't know that, but uh, now they're all in decimal denominations tens. All right, so I got three soaps in here. Move my coffee. A lot of talking, I know. Just get to it, Ken. All right. Still amazed how that Techmatic shave turned out. I was, all right. What a combo. Whoops, see? This thing's not as thirsty. There we go. Add a little more water. I'm gonna add a little more water. Ah, now we're talking. Now it's spilling out. Hey, are you guys going to the Big Shave Southwest, April 27th in Phoenix? Arizona. It's going to be a blast. I uh, get to make it this year. I get to go this year because uh, my bowling championship in Las Vegas is like a week or two before that. So me and my wife, I just made my reservations today. It's going to be a good get together. I understand shaving with Rich is going to be there with uh, his... Uh, brushes he's going to have a table there there's going to be a lot of people there a lot of sellers i so i imagine west coast shaving is going to be there i imagine i know phoenix uh, artists on accoutrements is going to be there they're kind of like uh involved heavy in it so i will be there and it's on the saturday and i think a lot of you are coming from all over the place to see that i know some of you come from australia and i mean i've seen a lot of you at the big shave west and i actually have just dropped my uh Razor. Uh, I actually haven't been to, uh, I went to the Big Shave West too. I missed three. I missed the Big Shave East because it just fell right on my bowling tournament uh, weekend. But it's going to be good. All right. Let's see how this blade does. By the way, the soap smells great. What a combo. I know if I cut myself, it's not the soaps this time. Oh, and uh, I've been hearing from uh, my good friend Sheldon Quinn. He, uh, from Global Shave Company, he has some a new razor or some new razors, and he sent me a package, and it hasn't arrived yet, Sheldon. And uh, poor guy, I, I hope you don't I hope you don't think I was stiffing you and like had it arrived and just been putting it off, but I have not received it yet, Sheldon. And I know it's coming from Canada. And I know sometimes, either going to Canada or coming from Canada through customs, things can take a long time. But as soon as it, I get that, my friend, I will be doing a cool shave with that razor. I think it's the Calypso. That would have been pretty rude of me if I receive a package from you guys and I just never acknowledge you or never use the product. That wouldn't be right. I, I wouldn't do that.
and I've, they actually gave me, we haven't had a raise at, uh, with my job in a, a year or so, and uh, they negotiated a raise, and they actually negotiated retroactive back to July of last year. So I got this un unexpected check. And the only bad thing with getting an unexpected check is uh, now I want to spend it. And I've actually bought two razors, one of which, the most expensive razor I own, and never in a million years would I have bought one of those or thought I could afford one of those. But I got a Gillette toggle coming. Man, near mint. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing a shave with that toggle. And I bought a Diplomat. Which brings me to, people have said, hey Ken, what do you think of that Gillette ad? A commercial that just came out. To be honest, I hadn't watched it. My wife said, oh, have you watched the Gillette ad? She's all over YouTube and, excuse me, Yahoo. And uh, I hadn't watched it, so I watched it. And uh, have you seen, to me, first of all, it's, I, I like to see Gillette advertising razors, not like what a man should be, but you know, what, what it appears to me, did I get myself? Yep, got myself. You know this, you know the tobacco company lawsuits? Now this is probably not what it is, but in the tobacco company lawsuits, now they have these advertisements, R.J. Reynolds and, uh, Tobacco company uh, say that uh, smoking can cause cancer, blah, 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 blah. And it's like court orders. This almost seems like a preemptive strike. <laughs> Hope nobody in Gillette got in trouble, you know, but uh, hey, man, just put out some shaving videos or some <laughs> razor videos. So that's my take on it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't quite get it. I mean, I get the concept, but I don't know why they suddenly came out and did that instead of advertising a new razor. All right. Don't hate me for that. No idea what it means. I ended up picking up a few Gillette Techmatic razors from eBay, so I may be including one of them in my 9,000 subscriber giveaway, which will be coming up soon. So, uh... I think I'm like 80 subscribers away from that. So we will be having a 9,000 subscriber video giveaway. And I'll try to get some cool stuff lined up for that. And for you collectors out there, you can't really... It's kind of hard to find the replacement cartridges to that Gillette Techmatic. But the Schick Band Razor, you can find them. And I actually bought one of those too. with new uh, cartridge. So uh, I'll give that a try too. Kind of weird razors, but it worked great. I was in Walmart and I saw they had the Gillette Sensor XL cartridges, 10 of them for $27. And I guess that's a good price, holy cow. Sensor Excel happens to be, I got me there. Happens to be one of my favorite cartridge razors if you have to use a cartridge. Yeah. The aftershave today is gonna to be melanated. My wife picked that out too. Thanks for tagging me. You got me out of going shopping. They just left. They're going shopping to Stupid stores, candle stores, clothing stores. I didn't want to go. I said, hey, I, I've been tagged. I've got to do a video, man. So uh, I got out of that. Thank you. All right. Except for one tiny cut. No issues in this shave. Feels very icy. It 
Smells very good. Yeah, hopefully I can use one of that Diplomat if it arrives uh, in the James Bond video. Uh, well, and then I ended up joining one of the forums on uh, the internet, the Shave Nook. It was kind of cool because a lot of you guys knew me already from watching my videos. I, dude, I, I appreciate that. It's very weird to join something and people already know who you are. It's just very weird for me and flattering and I do appreciate it. Okay, Melonade. Smells good. I picked this up in person. It had. Damn, it burns. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to say this one might not burn. Whew. All right. That's a good burn. My friend Neil, who got into wet shaving, I, I, I hooked him up with a razor and some blades and a brush. And he goes, Hey, do you have any aftershave that burns? Because I really want to feel that burn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get him. All right. Oops, he might be watching. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for tagging me in the video. And uh, you three guys I've tagged, I hope to see yours uh, come up with a good combination. It's like making soup. You know, as I said, three in one bowl, but uh, very interesting. And I had to clarify first. I said, do I do one pass with one soap? One pass? And they said, oh, no, you throw it all in one bowl. And I know... Uh, uh, she Shaves with Jill has done this. Uh, a lot of you guys have already done, Kevy. A lot of you have already done your uh, videos. So, uh, hey, I'm in the club now. All right, guys. Till next time, it's Ken Cersei. Have a great weekend. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon.